Welcome to episode three of our bus build series. Last episode, we got the subfloor in, we got some walls framed up, we got some mounts for the solar panels, and we ran some wiring. We also did a lot of thinking, primarily on the power system, and also some of the intricacies of our build. And so hopefully this time, we can do a lot less thinking and a lot more building. So our plan for the roof is put this three and a half inch fiberglass insulation up, followed by some strapping, and we'll screw some thin flimsy plywood into the strapping to round out the roof. So hopefully that goes as planned. So we've been busy all morning working away. Uh, Matt's been working on the wiring for us, getting the outlets all done up, um, which is very important so we can get our walls done uh, once the wires are run. Uh, and then this morning we also uh, did a bit of a test uh, on our ceiling system. So we would put this plywood up. It's gonna all come down because it doesn't quite fit right, but uh, that's good with us. We got a good idea of what we're gonna do next. Uh, so we're gonna run some shiplap up the side and shorten the plywood. So it's gonna look a lot like this, except with shiplap you know, here and here, and then the plywood will just start higher up. And that'll take the, a lot of the bend out of the plywood and should make it a lot a lot sturdier. Uh, and then as for framing, uh, we need some spots to mount to on the ceiling. So what we've done is notched out uh, some two by fours and then we've kept the depth about the same as the strapping we're using. And that'll allow us to, to essentially use this as a frame and strapping at the same time, it doesn't interfere. And then it gives us a good mounting point for our bunk bits. So that's what we got on the go today. So in a strange turn of events today, Chan and myself are ripping down pallets. We uh, kind of blew our budget on our ceiling and didn't really have much to do our interior walls or the front part of our ceiling. So we hopped on Kijiji and looked for some free pallets. So we figured if we rip them down, we end up with some nice, cool looking boards that'll work well for both interior walls and in our entranceway. We're gonna throw it up on the roof. So Chan Wu and I installed our first set of rails on the top of our bus for mounting our solar panels. Uh, we measured the distance between them. Now the sketchy part is we have to angle grind our solar panels so that they'll fit on the top because there's this annoying little lip on the edge of them. See this lip here? This lip here needs to be cut off so that the brackets can properly sit on the top and on the bottom of the panels. So I'm now gonna use an angle grinder and cut a hole in our solar panels. This is a little sketchy for sure. Well, today we finished the walls. We got wires running in through behind. We have a gap here just since we're building the couch off those, but aside from that, a few boards at the end, we've got this all wrapped up. Looks great.
All right, so to finish up our solar panel system, we need to run the wires from the panels uh, through the roof back down to our battery set. Um, so to do that, what we've done, we've drilled two holes through our roof uh, and then put grommets in the holes to protect the wires from uh, protect the wires from any you know chafing on the on the sheet metal. Uh, we'll run our wires through those holes, then we're going to use this PVC pipe uh, 90 degree angle. And we'll put that right over top of our uh, of the holes, and then run our cables through the pipe and then through this cap as well. And we'll seal the cap on the end. And then once we caulk and seal all that, we should be good to go from all weather. Uh, and that'll keep our uh, keep our bus nice and dry on the inside and, and keep our uh, keep our batteries charged. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to change the planes here. Tom and I are going to tackle putting these vertical posts up. We're going to do that after we put the roof on, but this thing's a little flimsy, so we don't want to don't want to risk cracking that. So we'll just put these in and build the roof around it. Tom and I are making some progress. We got posts. We got posts. We got a wall going in here. Wall going here. This will be the bathroom. We've got the top bunk uh, framed up a little bit. Got this guy in place. Put this guy in place. And then we're good to move on with the roof. Thoughts? It's turning into a real life. RV. It's happening. It's happening. Well, we got the ceiling in. It wasn't necessarily fun, and we got some touch-up to do. We cheaped out a bit on the ceiling. It's just flimsy plywood, and it was kind of a nightmare to put up without cracking it. It did crack in a few places, and it was tough to seam, so a bit of touch-up work. Hopefully, we can make it look better. Um, we'll see how that goes, though. All right, so we're getting ready to tackle the bike mount here. We're thinking we're going to put four of these mounts on the back here and put a rod across. A little makeshift bike rack since we got five bikes and can't really mount a hitch to this thing. So we'll see how that works out. We're going to go right through the wall. We need to do this now so we can build the bunk. Big day for the bus boys. First time we got all five. Drayden's let's back, go. baby, let's go! <laughs> Another thing we can to get this uh, layer of primer on, but it proved to be difficult to get all the dust off, as you can see. We're about to mop it for the second time. Hopefully we can clean it off good enough to get a white coat of primer down. So we finally got our white paint starting to go on looking great we've got most of the roof done chan's getting the front evan drayden are working on the back i'll give you guys a sneak peek of what the roof looks like Whew. we're still probably going to put a second coat on it but for now it's a huge improvement over the old red that we had before oh we have a white roof first coat is on but prayers up that this thunderstorm doesn't ruin it all. Um, 
for the second coat. What's going on, nice, eh? Sweet. What a day. Mountain time, let's go. Got all of our electrical components, get these up, start charging our batteries. Who knows, maybe we can charge our phones in there by the end of the week. Oh, yeah. Bugs. Starting to frame out the bugs. Hey, Jan, stick your head through the bugs. Should have these by the end of the day. Oh, good chance. Spider Chan! Spider Chan! Let's go! <laughs> So we use our eighth inch ply or eighth of an inch ply on the ceiling, and it uh, it doesn't quite suck up perfectly everywhere. So we've devised a little method to to make it all square. We just kind of shove some glue into the cracks, and then use these stilts to basically press the wood up into place. And as the glue dries, it kind of ties it up and makes it look nice. So ready for stilts. All right, lots of different tasks going on today. Dre and I are going to tackle flooring the bathroom. Tom's going to fill some cracks so we can get this painted later today. Chan and Whitey filling out the box, some plywood on the top and bottom so we can have some storage in between. Let's see how today goes. Tom's getting ready to frame out the couch over here. The boys are still working on the bunks. We've got some plywood cut ready to go. Beds are ooh, looking good back here. Got some floor down for the toilet. Put some uh, acoustic foam up here. Lock in the bathroom a little bit. And then we'll put uh, some more pallet boards on the other side. Get at it. All right, we're finishing up another week of work on the bus. Uh, so I'll give you a quick update of where we're at. So we spent uh, spent the week getting the rest of our ship lap up on the back wall. Um, we got our bunks all framed up, and then we added some uh, some hinges to these. I don't want to lift it up and spill the beer, but you get the gist. Uh, we got our bathroom wall all done up, and then the bathroom floor is in as well. You see the toilet fits in nice, and we got a nice little shelf up here as well. Uh, so we'll, we'll finish up the walls on the bathroom early next week. Um, we're just prepping for paint now, so we've got all the cracks on the roof have been spackled. Um, I don't know, you can see all the way back, so hopefully once we get a coat of paint on that, it'll look nice and smooth. Um, that's kind of where we're at right now. All right, so today was probably the hottest day we've had this year. It was like 42 degrees or something. Felt like 42. Uh, we were working away anyways. Uh, we got this kitchen set up going. So we got our stove mounted in here. And then the, the countertop is cut to fit properly on that. We're going to run some drawers and shelves and stuff over here. The fridge will be on the right side underneath uh, the countertop. And then drayden has been working on the electrical setup all day. Um, we're getting there pretty close. And then... Matt's been working in here to get our toilet properly vented and to get a wall up. So that's that's what's the update for today. Guys, just a little update. We've been pretty poor picking up the camera, just trying to grind out as we uh, prepare for the inspection in a couple days. 
But Drayden's been plugging away at the electrical system. Just uh, made some big progress. Actually, we're pretty close to finishing that up. I've been working away here at the face of this couch. We're going to build some kind of airplane style storage compartments up here. So we've got a decent start on that. Tom's been in here building out the shower drain. Chains at the back kind of boxing off some of these bunks and working on the shelf space in here. So a lot of progress. Um, we're down to like a week, so hopefully we can tidy this, finish this guy up in, in the next week so we can take off. However many days it is. Hey, we've got electrical done, we're painting. Shit's mint. Sweet. We got all kinds of stuff done. I don't know when's the last time you guys saw it. I don't know the last but... time you guys saw shit, but. We got, uh, got our fridge in over here. Our countertop's all good to go under oh. here. Got our stove put in place. Plumbing well, set up, the shower set up. We're just going to buy a hose now. Trim got a shower pan in there. Our, couch, our mattresses are cut here too. Mattresses yeah. are cut, they're getting wrapped with the fabric. The beds are ready to go, the mattresses also ready to go. We're inspected officially in RV. We have been putting in some work, so much work that we have forgotten about oh, the GoPro. GoPro. <laughs> Sorry, GoPro. 10 hour days. Ugh. Well guys, we have been slacking on the camera, but we have been grinding away, trying to meet our departure date, which is now pushed to next Sunday, so seven days from now. But as you can see, we have made a lot of progress. We have this couch that converts into a dinette. This plywood also goes across here to make a kind of a super bed, super couch. We got these airplane cabinets. We're gonna put some doors on here still to come. We've got the faucet installed, the water systems finish, the showers finished and working, the toilet obviously installed. We got this counter, the fridge, some drawers, the oven. We even got a freezer over here storage space here the beds are all put together As you can see we got the hinges set up for some storage underneath nice little shelf there airplane cabinets on the other side just got the roof to go one more thing to mount up here and then we can finish roofing and we're just about to tackle the exterior paint so stay tuned for that we're super excited to get rid of this kind of sanded faded red so here we go